What's going on guys, Unknown Player here, and today I'm you guys more Black Ops 3 gameplay. This is footage from the official reveal trailer. I'm going to be breaking it down, analysing it, because as you guys know, I've played the game, I've played all the weapons and the kill streaks and everything you see in this trailer, so I'm going to be able to give you an in-depth analysis of what everything means, how much the score streaks cost, what they do, some of the weapons that you see used, and all of that good stuff. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, and if you're hyped for Black Ops 3, make sure you drop the video a like rating and subscribe, because I've got a ton more of Black Ops 3 videos coming up, including Black Ops 3 footage, of course, of multiplayer. If you missed yesterday's video for whatever reason where I showed off Black Ops 3 multiplayer for the first time, definitely check that video. It'll be annotated on screen right now. And also links in the description. You can check some full multiplayer gameplay. But today, we'll be breaking down this footage. First off, we get to see Ruin in this trailer. is all about going through a lot of the special characters and getting to see what their actual special moves or weapons or abilities actually are when you use them in-game. And we get to see Ruin right here. And in front of him is actually a really cool kill streak. This is actually called the uh, Talon. And this is a kind of a low-tier kill streak. Uh, in the build I played, it was worth 900. 175 points and it's basically this robot controlled kind of a escort attack drone that follows you around and it will kind of do some work for you so that is what that score streak is in case you were wondering uh, next up we get to see a pretty cool look at uh, the tomahawk which is returning or the combat axe which is of course a uh, fan favorite from the black ops series we can see mark Lambert getting tomahawks in the face as he tries to go through that window which is pretty cool and they also get to see his actual power weapon in use these are the gravity spikes and you get to see him slamming down on two people on the flag and it's basically an error effect shockwave and it basically deals a lot of damage in that sense next up we have a look at Seraph. Her specialty is this Annihilator pistol, which you'll see in action. She is a very, very good character. You get to see her throw a new grenade type called the Thermite, and this actually ignites people and sets them on fire. It's a one-hit kill. If you manage to hit them or hit them directly, and of course, it burns for a long duration as well, and sets kind of a fire there. If anyone walks through, they're going to take more damage. You get to see her power weapon, which is a beast of a weapon. I would say probably one of the most uh, kind of more useful weapons out of all the specialists. It's basically this Annihilator pistol, which is a one-shot kill if you manage to land your shots. There's a little bit of reload time in between shots but as you can see right here it penetrates through so many people and you can get just collateral so easily because the weapon just does so much damage and as i said it's a one shot kill and if people line up you can get multiple kills as well so it's a very very lethal weapon and definitely one of the most popular weapons at the capture event that i played at next up we see the specialist called outrider and she is on the map stronghold with a sniper rifle and what you can see right here are these footsteps in front of her this is a brand new perk and it's actually called tracker it allows you to see footsteps of enemies that have been walking in front of you and i think it's a very interesting one I potentially it could be very overpowered if you can see the kind of tracking remains of where people are you can follow the footsteps to see where exactly they are and as you can see she follows exactly the footsteps and manages to pick someone off so you can basically like follow people and see exactly where they've gone i'm not sure how long they last or what the limitations are perhaps there are some perks that counter it but tracker is definitely going to be a very interesting perk and you can see her doing a lot of wall running right there showing off that new movement mechanic and also using her sparrow which is her special weapon that you get to use and this is basically a one-shot kill and it also detonates a second time so if someone's near it, they're going to get hit by a detonation and it's very, very gruesome when you get hit by this thing. As you can see in this trailer, then we can see the new character, which is called Prophet. This is one of the new separate characters that we didn't see in the first four. And this guy is very interesting. His ability that was shown off is called Glitch. He has another one, which I'll talk about later on the video. But the ability we've got to see right here is not a power weapon. It's the ability. So one of the discernible two. You get to choose between a power weapon or a power ability. And uh, this is the ability right here. And we'll see his weapon later on in the video. And what Glitch is, it basically allows you to teleport back, I think, three seconds to where you were previously. And you can basically kind of like turn back time for yourself and be where you were previously if you're about to get in a sticky situation about to get shot you can rewind time and possibly be behind your enemy this is exactly what happens here he's running on the wall and there's someone about to shoot him in the back and he teleports back three seconds to where he was behind the guy and then pops him in the head so that is a tactical use of the actual glitch ability and then we get to see reaper this is a fully robotic character so he's not human at all he's just a complete robot which is cool to players as an actual character in multiplayer he's using a gun which is very much like the p90 from older call of duty games and submachine gun called the weevil and this is a very interesting weapon and as he builds up to his uh, special power weapon you get to see his arm turns into a minigun what we saw in the trailer and this is what he gets to do and it's very much like the death machine from past uh, black ops games it felt and played so much like that very lethal of course you know extra health you still get taken down but it's a very very powerful weapon you get quite a lot of ammo and that special weapon is called the scythe of course next up we get to see some score streaks in action this is called the wraps which is called the robotic anti-personnel sentry drones and these are basically the replacement of dogs what we believe currently in Black Ops 3. I think there won't be dogs in this game. I think these are a replacement. They're basically acting in a similar way to dogs. They're dropped off on this drop ship you can see right here and they will basically go around and seek targets and blow them up or destroy them. They've got spikes on them as well so you can kind of run people over but you can actually shoot them as you can see is done right here. They'll basically drop off a pack of these things and they will roam the map and the build that I played there were a very high tier score streak. One of the top ones they're actually 1,275 score so one of the top score streaks you can get. You can kind of get a sense of how expensive these things are to actually earn with a 
lot of kills or score. Next up, we can see the Wraith in action. This is a very similar tool streak to the Stealth Dropper. It does stealth and it kind of, I think if you shoot it, it goes into stealth mode and also does a lot of shooting. The cooldown on its gun is a lot quicker than the Stealth Dropper from Black Ops 2. So this thing shoots a lot, like it's really rapid firing and it will gun you down very, very quickly unless you're rocking some stealth perks. Then we can see a bit of water gunfights. And then as he emerges out of the water, you can see the beast that is the mothership. That is the greatest score streak in the game, currently sitting at around 1500 points or score. And that is what it takes to earn this thing in the build that I played. Of course, that's all subject to change, but it's currently the biggest score streak in the game. And it's an absolute mammoth. You can see the size of the thing as it just hovers over the entire map. Very intimidating. And it rains down fire. We can see that in action right here. And you also see Prophet. This is his special weapon. We saw his ability, which is called Glitch earlier. And this is the weapon which I've actually used myself. It's called the Tempest and it actually shoots an electrified kind of like bolt at people and will electrocute them. And if there's any nearby enemies, it'll also connect to them as well and destroy them too. So it's a very lethal weapon, a lot of fun. I like to think of it as similar to the Wonder Waffle from Zombies where it electrocutes people and connects all the people in the room. So it's a very lethal weapon, but also quite hard to use. I did have a struggle at trying to actually get many kills with it because it is very, very specialist and takes a lot of kind of skill to use. We'll also get to look at the another a very high end score streak. This is actually the second highest in the build that I played. This is the Combat Robot for 1400 score and he's basically a very heavily armored kind of infantry unit that will patrol around the map and destroy a lot of people as you can see right here he's taking a lot of damage if you look at the size compared to ruin like ruin's a very big dude and this robot is so much taller than him he's got a massive machine gun on him he's taking a ton of damage so this guy is basically a juggernaut as he will run around the map we we'll also get to see the tempest electrified weapon which we talked about in action you can also notice the 3d minimap which looks very different to the normal minimap i'm not sure whether it's just like a random like kind of build thing whether it's changing where we'll get to the final game but the minimap there looks very very cool and almost like colored to different terrain of the map and at the final we can see the mothership which is the greatest kill streak in the game like i said and this is just raining down hell upon these guys and you can see just how lethal this thing is so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this breakdown of the trailer let me know in the comment section if you pointed out anything that i might have missed or anything cool that you might have uh, like seen from this video and you're excited for let me know in the comment section your thoughts of this trailer and of course black ops 3 multiplayer like i said check out that video where i posted gameplay and of course there's much more on the way stay tuned right here on this channel so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one